Are you sick of yet another year rolling round where you have ticked practically nothing off of your vision board? Goals, plans, hobbies? Then this video is perfect for you. I'm going to show you 15 creative hobbies that you can do right from your home that are cheap, low effort, and if you're lazy like me, you'll actually want to do. Welcome back. So 2023 happened. She happened. And that's all I'm willing to say on it. Last year was both rock and roll. I had some of the best times of my life and also you could not pay me to ever go back there again. She's done. I'm done talking about her. I'm back so soon. Six months? <laughs> who, is, who is she? I would never leave you. That's That wasn't me. I would never do that to you. In this video, I'm not going to be showing you like typical hobbies like doing sports. Although they're great, I want to show you some creative hobbies that really get in touch with your emotional side. Some of us just want to do everything and conquer every hobby in the world. So join me. <laughs> document your life. So I think we all agree our whole lives seem to be centered around social media. Not all of us are wanting to be influencers, myself included. <laughs> me and all my friends now have a digital Little old school digital cameras. Such a sweet way to bond with your friends without whipping out your phone all the time. We all like sit around together and it just feels so like vintage and nostalgic and the photos are beautiful. They're just so 90s, 2000s and it's not to post them everywhere. It's just a great way to keep some memories personal. It's also such a cute way to do vlogging. We've kind of like lost the art of vlogging our lives for our own purposes. We need to bring home videos back. Like imagine getting to the end of 2024, getting out your digicam, watching back all the footage at the end of the year with all your friends. These are so affordable. You could go on eBay, Amazon. I'm definitely gonna be doing some more digi camming. I can't wait. Journaling and scrapbooking. Following on from creating your own digital pictures and videos, you can print these out and I'm gonna put them all in a little scrapbook. And there are so many cute ways that can get you inspired to scrapbook because I know it sounds lame. Who wants to be spending that Sunday afternoon making a scrapbook? No. No, scrapbooking is cool. I've seen on Pinterest these scrapbooking ideas where they make like little pop-up books. You can even stick in receipts of places that you visited, flowers, fun little notes and doodles, little love letters if anyone ever writes you a love letter. Basically use it like your 2024 diary and make it very visual, colorful and personalized and it might just help you do some journaling. For me, journaling has always been like such a big placeholder. It really helps me vent and my thoughts just so that I can be a more cool and relaxed person and not literally vent all of my life problems to every single human I come across. You should try it sometime. Origami. This might sound like a weird one. Who gets into origami as a hobby? Origami is where you take a piece of paper and turn it into a cool creation simply by folding it. There's no glue, no cutting. So for a hobby, it's pretty low mess. I've done origami since I was maybe 10. I used to go on little caravan holidays with my brother and he'd have this like dinosaur origami book and we'd spend like our whole holidays building pterodactyls, T-Rexes. I got kind of good at it, like low key. Now my origami is a little bit more girly box. Here's an example. It is miffy. If you couldn't tell, it is miffy. And it's free. It's free. Any hobby that is free, give it to me. Give it to me. There's so many things that you can make. You can gift it to a friend. You can make origami room decor. And honestly, it's so therapeutic and relaxing. A tip for origami, if you've never done it before, score your lines. Get your nail or a spoon and just like make sure the lines are really straight. Make sure you have all your paper proportions actually accurate. So like if it's a square, it needs to be square, okay? So many step-by-step -step guides on Pinterest, on YouTube, and you can even follow along some of my step-by-step -step guides if you want, like if you want, like just self-promo. Sewing. I feel like sewing is one of those hobbies that's a little bit less lame. It's such a good life skill. And it's cool, like the things that you can make with sewing aren't just like grandma things. You can make anything from clothes to little teddies and gifts. Okay, yeah, like when I got into sewing in high school, we made pillows. You can sew cooler cushions than this, but here's what I made. Just doing textiles for a year like, really inspired me. I have now got this passion to sew clothes, which is kind of new. Like I'm dabbling in it, made a few clothes videos and a few pieces for myself. I'm not the best at it and I don't have a sewing machine. A sewing machine can literally be like 2,000 pounds. But if you like, 
learn how to hand sew, like it's just really helpful. There's a few different types of stitches. You can also learn how to do embroidery. I love watching Kennedy Walsh and I noticed she started getting into embroidery and I was like, oh, that could be me. So I learned a little bit of embroidery. You can do darning. So when you get like a hole in a nice new clothing, you can patch it up in a really cool way instead of just throwing them out. And you can just embellish items that you already own. Maybe like a jumper, you can put like little flowers on it or onto jeans on their back pockets. Pastelized items that are boring. Sewing is great it can take you into like fashion this is one of those hobbies that can like excel you in life for me i will just keep it as a hobby painting <sighs> painting painting for a few years became my whole life i didn't realize how much it actually like impacted me every day every single time i picked up a paintbrush or a pencil it's, it was literally like therapy, like my whole body just started to relax. I think when you like really get into it, it it's such a mindful activity, like you, why am I selling painting to you? There's so many different types of mediums, watercolour, oil paints, pencils, pastels, everything is art if you really think about it. Express yourself and just let your imagination run wild if you've had a stressful day and sometimes you can't like articulate the way that you feel and so it's just great to put down a paper even if it looks ugly, even if it looks yuck. I have been painting and drawing since I was 15 and I've got a right at it, like I'm alright at it. <laughs> if you're a beginner, go for sketching and doodling. If you are a little bit more advanced, try painting. You can section out as little as like 10 to 20 minutes of your day and just doodle something. And you'll notice as you consistently doodle something every single day, you will get so good so quickly. You could probably start with a zero pound budget, you just have to like steal a pencil. Quilting. I read this one on Google and when I first read it I was like what in the grandma is quilting? Like who is quilting? And then I realised maybe I am that grandma. Maybe she is me. I think a really fun way to do this is creating a big piece out of little materials that you find that like mean a lot to you all year. Whether you've picked up something at a thrift shop or a little handkerchief, cut it in a frame and kind of like a memento of things that you found in your year. Learn an instrument. I'm like not very good at guitar. <laughs> Played it for a few months and I very quickly gave up on myself. Music is a great tool if you're like an emotional person and you don't know how to express it. It gives you like a, a bigger respect for music. You can understand what's going on sonically. I would say music's like one of the more difficult hobbies to pick up because you do have to annoy the people in your house and be quite loud. The reason why I want to pick up guitar is because I saw that cool blonde girl on TikTok who like, she has like short hair and she sits on the end of her bed with like little star clips in it. She's going for it. I learnt like two riffs. <laughs> Learning an instrument is one of those hobbies that is so frustrating at the start, like you just want to quit and give up. But I promise you, you have to get over that initial like learning curve and it will be smooth sailing from there, baby. When you first pick up learning guitar, it is just stressful. Like there have been so many times where I've just started crying because I kept getting things wrong. It sucks until you start to get good at it. But I promise you, it's so rewarding. Give it some time. Don't give up on it too soon. The one that stuck for me was piano because I do want to live my little Claire de Lune moment and the easiest instrument to pick up was ukulele for me just because it's so small you can just learn chords or you can learn riffs like this cool TikTok girl I prefer learning by ear like I just listen to a song and play it or like watch someone's hands and be able to copy it's actually like really good for your brain like it helps your memory there's other benefits too plus being a musician is kind of hot Everyone wants to date musicians. My personal goal this year is to learn how to crochet. I've been saying this for years. I used to be able to like knit. <laughs> when I was like five years old, my mum taught me how to knit and I, I knit this little like blank. Um, but I completely forgot how to knit or do anything, which is so sad now that there's this whole crochet uprising. There's like levels to it, right? You can crochet a flower or a quilt, dresses. It's so versatile, like you can watch TV and crochet. All you need is a hook and some wool. You get to keep all your projects at the end and oh, to be a crochet girl. The thing that put me off personally is everyone that has a tutorial on crocheting, like their, hand, their hands are like this, covering the, the thread with all of their little fingers so you can't even see what they're doing. And 
I am just, I'm just feeling a little bit lazy. Reinvent your style. No, I'm not having an identity crisis. I know I dyed my hair, but I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Reinventing your style is just something that you simply do for fun. For this I mean aesthetics, music taste, fashion pictures. The start of every year is just a great time for self-development on a like aesthetic basis purely. With developing your sense of style, I feel like a really good checkpoint to do this is at the start of every upcoming season, you can kind of just reinvent what you like a little bit. Okay, like we're going into autumn. What's my colour palette gonna be? I feel like autumn's very really browns and reds and purples. Apples. Spring is very really like blue and pastel. You can do this with your room decor, which I thought is so fun. So every season that comes around, you can change small things such as your flower arrangements, your lighting, your bed sheets, just cheap and versatile things. So like in Christmas, you can have maybe like a knitted duvet, and in spring, you can have a little floral duvet. Pottery. I've done this twice now and I freaking loved it. Me and my friends we all went to a pottery baking class together so you can make the actual pots yourself but like girl I don't want clay under my nails so <laughs> um, it's kind of cheap it's probably like 10 to 20 pounds. You can definitely pick it up in your own time as well by learning how to make cute dishes, painting plates, cups, vases. The options are endless man. The most important thing with any hobby is that you're working on yourself. Creative hobbies are a great way to do some like self-reflection, practice some mindfulness. That's what's most important, is the way that it makes you feel. And also a great tip if you're struggling with productivity for starting a new hobby this year is remembering that the time will pass anyway, which is just like the truest thing I've ever heard. 2025 is gonna come whether you practice a hobby or not. Next year is gonna come around no matter what you do, whether you sit in bed or if you get up from work out every single day, like next year it will happen whether you want it to or not. So it's just, do you want to get to next year learning guitar or without learning guitar? Up to you. But for me, that piece of advice like always really helps, like give me a kick up the bum to like go do something. Yeah. I know all of these hobbies can be like extremely time consuming. We all have like such busy lives, we're all students and like have jobs. It will take a little minute to like be able to pick up a skill, but when you do learn it, it, it will just reward you like nothing else. What I'm trying to say is learning a hobby is worth it. I love making these videos for you. You guys are so sweet on here. Like way way more sweet than the um my like, Instagram comments and stuff like that. Like, you guys are actually nice that like, you actually care about me. Cute. <laughs> I really hope that some of these cozy, quiet hobbies inspire you. Anyway, I love you so much. Thank you for being here.